And let's move on to the night slate, Kelly. We got two marquee matchups. Game number 199-200. Oklahoma State Cowboys going on the road to face Texas State, or Texas Tech, excuse me. Oklahoma State laying nine and a half. Looks like a total of 79 and a half or 81, depending where you shop. How are you looking to bet this one, Kelly? So, you know, last week I had TCU circled and I stayed off the game and I kicked myself the entire game. But I want you guys to forget what you saw from that Cowboys team last week. As you know, this line opened at 12 and a half. It's down to nine and a half. Now we got some money coming back on Oklahoma State. So I think what the Sharp guys are trying to do here is maybe middle this game, but I don't really see that as the case. There was four turnovers last week by the Oklahoma State Cowboys. We're not going to see that happen with this Texas Tech defense. It's not they're just not TCU by any realm of the world in terms of defense. So you have a T or you have a Texas Tech team last year who beat Houston as six and a half point dogs. So you have this general public perception that maybe this Red Raiders team is not getting as much credit as they deserve. I've had Oklahoma State rated high since week one, and I did not punish them that much for the loss against TCU. And I actually look at it a little bit more as maybe, hey, that was a look ahead kind of spot where they didn't even think TCU was a real deal. They will not have a problem in Lubbock. I think Cliff Kingsbury's probably going to lose his job here shortly anyway, because this 3-0 and is very fraudulent for the Red Raiders. Yeah, he might be on borrowed time yeah, for might. sure. Hey, we got another marquee matchup, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Pacific, 193-194, the rotation numbers on the betting card. We got Clemson at Virginia Tech, Blacksburg, a very tough place to play. With Clemson laying seven and the hook, are you looking to go with the underdog in this one, the home underdog, Kelly? Everybody knows I love the primetime home underdogs, and especially in Blacksburg with this Clemson team. They have only covered one and four against the spread in their last five games in Blacksburg. I get it. It's going to be a tough game, but I'm not really sold on this Clemson team. In the beginning of the year, I did not have them in my 14 college football playoff. Kelly Bryant is no Deshaun Watson. He has thrown more interceptions than touchdowns. I just think that they're going to be forced to lean on their running game, which is Va Tech's specialty. They have impressed me so far this season on defense, allowing only 41 points. So you know what that means. You've got to take the better defense plus the points. All right, so taking the home underdog, Virginia Tech Hokies. You heard it there from Kelly in Vegas. Find her on Twitter, at Kelly in Vegas. Kelly, anything else before we close it down? Nope, good luck this week, Drew. All right, good luck to you too, Kelly. And we'll be back next week with uh, three more picks from Kelly and some news from Las Vegas. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now, not to mention a visit to our industry-leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now, the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.